Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions, my name's Chris, and today we're gonna to take a look at the latest Wi-Fi 6 access points from TP-Link for their Omada line of products. Now I've already done a video detailing the setup of TP-Link Omada from start to finish, so make sure you check out that video for all of the nuts and bolts on how to configure your Omada network from the ground up. Since the release of that full Omada video, TP-Link has come out with a whole bunch of Omada-based Wi-Fi 6 access points that I wanted to take a look at. First, however, make sure you like this video and subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions for two to three brand new tech videos every single week. And make sure you follow us on Twitter at CrosstalkSOL for all of the latest updates. All right, so let's take a look at these different access points. Starting over here, we have the EAP610. So this access point is excellent for home users, prosumers, as well as small business environments. The EAP610 has an MSRP of $99.99, and it features an omnidirectional 2x2 multi-user MIMO antenna. It also has a 1 gigabit Ethernet port that can be powered by either 802.3 ATPoE or the included 12 volt power adapter. It offers 5 gigahertz throughput up to about 1.2 gigabits per second and 2.4 gigahertz throughput of up to 574 megabits per second. Keep in mind though that this is total wireless throughput. Since this only has a 1 gigabit ethernet port, the max you can get out to your wired LAN is just one gigabit per second. Now, being that this is a two by two multi-user MIMO access point, which by the way, I say multi-user MIMO, other people have corrected me and said it's supposed to be MIMO. Apparently there's some contention in the comments for which way you're supposed to pronounce that. I like to say MIMO. How do you pronounce it? Put that down in the comments below. All right, so a two by two multi-user MIMO access point is made for environments that aren't super dense in terms of the total wireless clients that are connecting to the device. Now, I like to think of multi-user MIMO as lanes on a highway, right? So two by two MIMO means that you have two lanes of throughput and four by four multi-user MIMO means you have four lanes of throughput. So your wireless clients, like your phone and your tablet and your laptop, those are usually either gonna have a one by one or two by two antenna, meaning that they're gonna take up one or two lanes of that highway as they're sending and receiving data between the client and the access point. Now more lanes on the highway means more clients can speak to the access point simultaneously without causing any delays in the transmission, or in other words, without causing a traffic jam on your 4x4 multi-user MIMO highway. For most home users and small businesses, 2x2 MU MIMO is gonna be perfectly fine. However, if you'd like to expand your MIMO highway, then you're gonna wanna step up to the 4x4 multi-user MIMO access points, including this one, the EAP660HD. Coming in at $179.99, the EAP660HD is a Wi-Fi 6 access point that not only has that 4x4 multi-user MIMO bandwidth capability, but it also has a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port for connectivity to your LAN. Wireless throughput for this device is double the capacity of the EAP610, coming in at 2.4 gigabits per second in the five gigahertz band and just over 1.1 gigabit per second in the 2.4 gigahertz band. The EAP660 HD can also be powered by either 802.3 AT PoE or the included 12 volt power adapter and it's designed to be mounted on the wall or on the ceiling. Now, if you're not interested in a wall or ceiling mounted access point, or if you're just looking to extend coverage to those pesky areas that tend to be spotty like your garage or your company's warehouse, in those cases, a great option is the EAP615 wall, which has an MSRP of $89.99. Now, I personally really love this form factor. The EAP615 wall fits over a single gang electrical box and it's powered up by either 802.3 AF or ATPOE, plugged right into the back here. Not only that, but the EAP615 wall has three additional gigabit ethernet ports on the bottom of the device for hardwiring 
other equipment, such as your entertainment devices, you know, your TV, your Roku, your PlayStation, you know, a voice over IP phone, maybe a surveillance camera, any other device that you'd like to hardwire. The third ethernet port on the bottom also allows you to do PoE out for powering up a voice over IP phone or a surveillance camera or some other PoE capable device. Now, the only caveat to that is that in order to provide the PoE out to this third port, you have to use PoE plus in. So that's 802.3 AT PoE in the back of this device. So the unit itself will be powered by either the sort of lower power output 802.3 AF or the higher power output 802.3 AT, also known as PoE+. Plus. The difference is that when you're powering it with 802.3 AF, you don't have the PoE pass-through, but when you're using PoE+, Plus or 802.3 AT, then you do have PoE pass-through capability to juice up additional devices that might need power. Like I said, VoIP phones, surveillance cameras, whatever else. Now, the wireless antenna in the EAP615 wall isn't as powerful as these other two access points, but it's also not really supposed to be. So you still get your two by two multi-user MIMO capability. It has the exact same throughput as the EAP610, but the antenna gain is a bit lower. Like it doesn't scream as loud as the 610 or the 660HD. This is because these wall form factor access points are designed to provide coverage to a single room or just generally a smaller area than their bigger access point counterparts. Now think of these wall units as the type of access point that you'd put into each room of a hotel or maybe each room of a dormitory. It would provide perfect coverage for that hotel room, but it's not gonna go too far past the walls, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. Finally, let's take a look at the EAP 225 Outdoor. This has an MSRP of $69.99. The EAP225 Outdoor is a 2x2 Wi-Fi 5 access point powered by either 802.3 AF PoE or 24 volt passive PoE and it's IP65 weatherproof, meaning that it's designed to be right outdoors in the elements. The EAP225 Outdoor can be either wall or pole mounted and it has a wireless throughput of up to 867 megabits per second in the five gigahertz spectrum and up to 300 megabits per second in the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. Now I know what you're saying, Chris, this is obviously not a Wi-Fi 6 access point. I thought you were showing us all of TP-Link's new Wi-Fi 6 stuff. Well, you're absolutely right. This is a Wi-Fi 5 access point, but I mention it because coming out in early Q2, 2022, TP-Link is releasing the next generation Wi-Fi 6 version of this same exact access point. It's gonna be called the EAP610 Outdoor, which is great because if you're doing a full Wi-Fi 6 Omada deployment, as of early Q2 2022, you're now gonna have an outdoor option for covering you know, your backyard barbecue. So I really love seeing all of these Wi-Fi 6 Omada access points hitting the market. The TP-Link APs are super cost effective and they've performed great in my personal wireless testing. Uh, links below to all of the equipment that I featured in this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe for two to three brand new tech videos every single week. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.